a president of the United States who has no idea what he's talking about from a policy perspective, who lacks the requisite dignity required of someone who wishes to be the head of state of the government of the United States, and someone who lacks the capacity to be the commander in chief of the most powerful military and the world's most potent nuclear arsenal. That's what you'll see tonight. I would suggest that. Yeah, when we look at this, when we look at where this race is today, the presidential race is effectively over. And Hillary we'll Rodham Clinton that, yeah. will be the 45th president of the United States. Chuck Schumer will be the majority leader of the United States Senate. Confident. And the only question that's still up in the air is how close the Democrats will come to retaking the House majority. What this exposes, though, is much deeper, and it goes to the Republican Party as an institution, this, this candidacy. The magnitude of its disgrace to the country is almost impossible, I think, to articulate. But it has exposed the intellectual rot in the Republican Party. It has exposed at a massive level the hypocrisy, the modern-day money changers in the temple like Jerry Falwell Jr. Uh, and so this party, to go forward and to represent a conservative vision for America, has great soul-searching to do. And what we've seen in the danger for all of these candidates is over the course of the last year, these, these candidates who have repeatedly put their party ahead of their country, denying what is so obviously clear to anybody who's watching about his complete and total manifest unfitness for this office. Well, Steve, I will let that be the last word of this segment. Pretty powerful uh, uh, statement there from you. Uh